G'day YouTube, it's Marty from Music Video Muster. Today I want to talk about backing up and copying your DVDs. Is it piracy or is it just protecting your collection? Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm really trying to grow this channel at the moment so if you haven't already subscribed please hit the button, I would really appreciate that. I want to start with a disclaimer. I do not condone any kind of illegal activity. I am not an expert in copyright law and you should do your due diligence and find out what is legal and lawful in your area before you even consider doing anything like backing up your discs. Also, I'm talking today about what should be, not necessarily what is. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get stuck into it. So when the Apple iPod came out, it revolutionized the music industry. It didn't just change the way we all listen to music, it changed the entire music industry. People were able to take the music from their CDs, digitize that and put it on their iPod. Then they could listen to their music anywhere they went and they could fit hundreds and hundreds of songs in their pocket. Now it's taken a while for the law to catch up with the technology. So it's only really within the last 10 years that certain countries around the world have accepted that digital music is okay and they have allowed people to rip the music from their CDs and listen to it on their mobile devices. This is sometimes referred to as format shifting. And to me, this makes a lot of sense because how can you deny somebody the ability to listen to their CD music on a different device? They bought the CD legitimately and I see no reason why they shouldn't be allowed to do that. The other big advantage of that is you don't have to take the disc out of its case. The disc will stay in its case and it's going to stay in pristine condition because let's face it, no matter how careful you are with your discs, there is always an element of wear and tear because you've got one surface touching another surface and it doesn't matter how careful you are, over time that wear and tear is going to accumulate and if it's a CD or a DVD that you really love and you use it a lot, it will inevitably get some markings and some scratches on the disc. Now, unfortunately, what's true for CDs is not necessarily true for DVDs. And I don't know why that is. I read recently on the internet, and this is a story from 2014. In the UK, they changed the laws so that now it is actually legal and lawful to copy DVD and Blu-ray discs. But the problem is, it's still illegal to circumvent the encryption, which all commercially produced DVDs and Blu-rays have. Now, I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because when CDs came out in the 1980s, there was no encryption. But by the time that DVD technology came out, of course, it was tied in with the big, powerful movie companies. Those companies probably felt a need to take extra measures to protect their content from being copied. So now let me go through some of the reasons for and some of the reasons against backing up your DVD collection. The first reason in favor of backing up your collection is it's your right. You paid the money for that disc, you bought the disc legitimately, why shouldn't you be allowed to make a copy for yourself so that you can protect and preserve the physical disc and ensure its longevity? My next point, in some ways, is a contradiction to what I just said, but here it is. Even if you buy a DVD, you don't really own that content anyway. When you buy a DVD, what you're really buying is a one-off license that lets you access that content whenever you want. Now, it doesn't matter what goes on behind the scenes with companies closing down and companies merging. 
that may affect the content that's available to you on streaming services, but it doesn't affect your ability to pop that disc in the player and enjoy it. But what if you bought a disc secondhand? If you buy a secondhand DVD disc, do you really own the right to access the content? I would think not. Even though buying and selling DVDs is, I would assume in general, a legal and legitimate activity. So who owns the right to access the content? Who owns the license? The other reasons that I've already mentioned is that it protects your discs, it ensures that they're going to last longer, and it lets you watch your content on different devices. Let's say you want to watch your DVDs on your computer, you should be able to rip the content, store it on your computer, and watch it whenever you want, so long as you are not selling that content to somebody else. And another point to make is that there is software available online that you can purchase which will circumvent the encryption and will copy and back up your discs for you. And those are legitimate companies that are trading and selling that product. So I don't see why there is a problem in using those tools to protect your collection. Okay, so what are the reasons against backing up your DVDs? Well, here they are. Yeah, I can't really think of anything except for one, and that is that technically it may not be legal. Because as I said before, even though it might be legal to make a copy of your DVD disc, it might not be legal to get around the encryption that allows you to copy the disc, but which is necessary in the first place to be able to copy the disc. So in conclusion, as long as we have legitimately bought the physical item in the first place, and so long as we do not illegally sell that content, I think that it's perfectly reasonable to allow somebody to make a copy of their DVD disc or their physical disc in order to preserve the life of that media. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Just a very short video, but I wanted to put that out there. And I'm also keen to hear your opinion. Let me know in the comments. Let's have a little discussion here. Until next time, make some time to enjoy watching your music. See ya.